Dude, we all wanted to suck our own dicks. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, don't act like you never tried you it. I'm surprised you don't suck your own already. Can't yeah. you just do this? Nah, that's really nice. Of, <laughs> Stop no, it. Like, fuck, get a mouthful of foreskin? Pugh. Oh, my God. Yeah, it does look like a Caucasian burrito. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't want to be here. <laughs> we got the funk. <laughs> Gotta get that funk. Stop I, it. I take good care of it. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Stop laughing. Stop telling me not to <laughs> We're the Terror Trio. Yes. Hooray. <laughs> I'm Drew. I'm, I'm Micah. And I'm Eugene. <laughs> and what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the fuck this is. Well, where, where you're going with this? This is going to be That's one it. of those episodes. Oh, man. I can tell. Guys, it's April 30th. It's Buffalo, New York. We're coming at you from the Buffalo Game Space studio here. As Drew, as Drew said, we are the Terror Trio. Guys, we have a little fun show here planned up. Uh... Our, uh, our, our, well, I planned it up. Eugene, I don't know about you, man. I'm wanging it. You're wanging it. I'm, I'm wanging it. Wanging it. Wanging it. Wanging I'm pretty much winging it as well. Are All you? Right. Yeah. Whoa. High five. Give me that shit. Oh, Not a, oh, oh that's what my God. About. You guys look at my notebook. Like, <laughs> yeah. I come here with a notebook. I yes, have all do. these notes and yep. everything. And you guys are just like, I just assume and that's you're why our fans or... like us better than you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Uh, it's never been confirmed, uh, but we not, just know. Not horror, but uh, <laughs> but real quick, I just want to get it out there. Like, holy shit, how about Endgame? Yep. Yes, yep. and you could get a wonderful review. There is a uh, a spoiler-free review and a spoiler review on this wonderful podcast called Geeks That Lift. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with our uh, lovely, sexy, muscular, bald-headed co-host, Eugene. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say Mark. <laughs> Mark's here? No. I was I was going to say me, but. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're on Drew. set lift now? Yeah. Yes. Hi. How you guys doing? Good. Very Great. good. How are you? Guys, I'm awesome. Actually, I'm a little freaked out, too. Uh, so I have a, a, a co-worker. I had a story I, I wanted to, to tell. Um, I have a co-worker that found out that we're doing this podcast. He listened to some episodes. He liked it. Um. Then he started talking about horror and uh, he's uh, he's in his early 50s. Um, he went uh, back when he was in college in uh, in the 80s. He would stop at uh, at a like a it was not a family video, but it was it was a rental place. It was a mom and pop, mom and pop place over on Kenmore Avenue here in uh, here in Buffalo, New York. And he doesn't remember the movie he rented, but he was a really bad slasher uh, by really bad. I'm sure meaning it was great. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, he was watching with a couple of his, uh, his his roommates at the time. They were all in college together. And I, I guess it was like a, a weekly thing they did. Well, when the movie ended and the credits started to roll, it kind of scrambled a bit. And it went to uh, a it cut to a bed. And in the bed, there was a naked woman tied up and gagged. The lighting was di- he told me that the lighting was different and it almost looked like uh, like a, a set of a porno. Hmm. What? They got a snuff film? A snuff porn? At the end of this movie, he said it was different camera. This girl mm-hmm. wasn't in this film. This guy came up to her and started laying down different power tools next to her. And she's crying and freaking out. And she's, I guess she was completely nude. And the guy ran his fingers up and down her torso and reached over and grabbed a grinder, an angle grinder, took it from her pelvis all the way up her chest, broke her chest open, and started pulling shit out. And then it went back to, like, the end of the movie. What? Get the fuck out of here. This guy has what? no... He's a lead chemist in uh, in uh, the microbiology lab that I work at. He's a straight shooter. He's a he's an absolute nerd, and he has no reason to lie to me about this. Yo, um, why didn't he keep the tape? He took it back, told the owners, and said, "I don't know what the hell is on here, but you guys have to see this." And uh, he said that it was never mentioned again. Um, because what? It was, yeah, um, because you remember VHS, uh, VHS that god awful technology that I talked about in the Stop last it. episode. <laughs> I know. Uh, Stop it. There is that. Uh, there is that part 
on the tape that you could snap off and you can't record over it, but mm-hmm. there's a yeah. there's a way to get around that. Yeah. You just put a yeah, piece, you just of, put tape put over a piece of masking tape over yeah. it, That's and then you can do. record whatever you want. Yep. Somebody fucking recorded this snuff film at the end of this slasher flick, and it was in circulation here in Buffalo, New York, back in the 80s. Come on! Oh, yeah. Why God. hasn't anybody heard of this? Well, he heard because of it, if it was in circulation and it was in it was towards the end of the movie, and maybe then you uh, know other people must have watched it. Maybe a maybe. couple people watched it. Maybe they were the first ones. Maybe the tape got destroyed. Maybe the, the owner said, well, I'm just going to cl- wash my hands of it and throw it out. Yeah, I don't maybe want that bad report- juju. Yeah, maybe they report. I, I highly Haunted doubt. Tripod. I highly doubt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I highly doubt the owners took it and said, oh, there's a snuff film on here. OK, cool. And just put it back on their shelves. But did you remember yeah. to rewind, sweetie? Because, <laughs> uh, you be know, kind be, rewind. be kind rewind. Um. But yeah, uh, I kind of stared at him for a minute afterwards and he the look on his face was just like. Like you could tell he doesn't like telling that story that made him uneasy. The man has seen shit. Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah he is. A fucking angle grinder. Why doesn't this shit happen to me? You I'm sorry. Know? what? Like, why doesn't this kind of stuff happen to me? I don't I don't. No. Because you'd you'd appreciate it <laughs> in your own sick I mean, way. I don't yeah. know. I, you know what? True. I'm the same way. I would have been like, why didn't he keep it? I would have yeah. kept it. I mean, I probably would have turned it into the authorities. I, but I turned it after after watching it a couple times and t- copying it. Hey, yeah. you, you call your buddy like Ned on the phone. Like Ned, bring your other VCR here. We gotta like <laughs> we gotta record this onto another tape. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm high class. I had a VCR in every room. See, there you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> Still do. Uh, oh god. <laughs> Get that, get, get rid of that shit. But yeah, I, uh, I mean, I know like Faces of Death was a thing back yeah, in the it was. Back yeah. in the 90s. Um, and maybe this was on there. I mean, I don't remember anything like that on there with a, with an angle grinder. And no, other, there wasn't. And other various items. But yeah. That is but wild. Just how he It's like that movie it. 8mm with Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Ooh. But just how he said it, he's like, it was like a, uh, he said it was like the set to a porno. Which, like, was this girl maybe, like, a runaway? She got into porn, and the director had other plans for her. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. dun. <laughs> well. Or maybe it was, like, part of, like, you know, the elite hunting club. Oh, videotaping their God. shit. Like a hostile situation. Way, way back in the day. Huh? Ooh, yeah. yeah. I you know shit like that, that really happens. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, shit look at, like that, that, really look at that movie Gothica. Those uh the the two guys yeah, they would them. uh they had that place that they, terrible. Uh, what I didn't like that you're talking about the one with Halle Berry right yeah man yeah. and Tom like uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr yeah didn't like it and Limp Bizkit's cover of Behind Blue Eyes oh god yeah. hell best, yeah best part of the yeah. movie yeah best part of the yeah. movie it fuck it somehow of the my movie. like my joggers magically turned into Jinkos when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> your jeans beard shrunk into a chin strap <laughs> a chin strap soul patch Drew, so yep. your, sh- your, your shirt turned into mesh <laughs> <laughs> fuck off pat we're having fun thanks pat <laughs> that's horror but thank you for wrangling us in buddy uh all right so guess what i just found out what ash vs evil dead season three is finally on netflix Hooray. that's very exciting for those of you like myself that do not actually own the series which why the fuck don't we own this series yeah why don't you guys own the series do you own the series no well because oh, i have yeah. them all because i have them all dvr'd mm. who dvr's yeah uh, oh yeah that's right what your TV dvr's what <laughs> <laughs> what the I same person all- that owns vhs tapes. i recorded them all on vhs <laughs> 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 all right uh that's it and that's a, it's wild because like it was around this time a year ago that the show got canceled yeah yeah it's and now a, he's the host of ripley's believe it or not yeah that's gonna be really good yeah i'm excited about that so we, all, we all love bruce campbell yes we do yes we do uh so this uh this may come as a surprise to most of you surprise three from hell has an r rating yep wow about shock, goddamn time shock city that's pretty much all we have to follow up on three from hell <laughs> that's it other than uh, there are uh there are there is a picture out of danny trejo as rondo chavez mm-hmm. yep. uh that kind of that popped up that's cool danny trejo looks exactly the same since like from dusk till dawn like he never yeah. like he uh, hit like a go, hard but, age and then didn't go any further no he always looks the same yeah like in Rough. heat 
Oh, yeah. rough, rough. He looks leather. like leather that's been yeah. sitting in the sun for a month. Yeah, but you know he that is le- leather that's yes. been sitting in the <laughs> sun. <for leather. laughs> but that, like, that fucking skin of his, you know, it's like you can't cut through it. Oh, nope. yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like Actually, Thanos it's been through wars. Skin. Oh yeah, wars in the s- s- sunlight. Uh, <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a good day here it's a good day it's a yeah. good day uh there's a feature lake documentary coming out about italian director oh man <sighs> peter velo i know you're out there listening Ruggiero what Dia- did you just say peter <laughs> peter velo peter velo you caught you caught that right Vulu. yeah yeah yeah. it's See, velo right is, I'm yeah. just, i hope it's velo i'm digging yeah. my hole deeper man all right right Ruggiero Ruggiero Diodot. Who's the director from Cannibal Holocaust, Eugene? (laughs) Huh? I can't pronounce his name. Uh, Ruggiero Ruggiero. Diodata, I think his name is. Diodata? I think his name is Diodata. Diodata. You always put a. You're so racist. You always put a fucking (laughs) racist accent towards foreign names all the time. I'm not racist. I have a talent. There, Pat just pulled it up. It's Ruggiero Diodato. Diodato. (laughs) <laughs> oh, Diodato. Diodato. Oh, you, oh, so Ruggiero Diodato. There you go. Hey, look at me. I'm a Ruggiero Diodato. Oh, you see, now you went stereotypical. <laughs> <laughs> Tried the veal. We went from a pizza pie to the Sopranos. <laughs> Great. All right, so the dude that did Cannibal Holocaust and all those other super fucked up movies, there's actually a documentary coming out about him. Uh, it actually looks pretty sweet. I mean, like, the guy went through a lot of shit making these movies. And, uh, you know, the whole thing, like, some directors are tough on their actors, shit like that. Like, yeah. like this dude was actually accused of killing his actors. Like, that's yeah. wild. Like, he, yeah. like, wasn't he, like, arrested? He did. He got arrested. Yeah. And, I mean, because people to, like, thought that, they were that it was, like, a fucking documentary. And, I mean, you know, kudos to... The special effects people, because that oh, shit, yeah, you know, yeah, even yeah. The, even the you know the famous the famous scene with the pole going up the chick's ass and coming mm-hmm. out her mouth, which that she, shit looked real. She forgot her safety word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. cottage cheese. Ew. Cottage cheese. That's all right. Uh, but yeah, so forget. we it gotta to uh, look forward to that coming out documentary on Rigero Daritaro. <laughs> No, you. Wow, that, was, that, that wasn't even close. That was that wasn't even fucking close. All right, Jesus all right, all right. Christ! <laughs> all right, dude, do you guys know anything about the movie The Headhunter? No. no, Pat, please bring up the Headhunter trailer so we could show these two. And don't worry, I let's go to my, the videotape. My ADD yeah. will not be distracted by this. For those of you listening, when you're done with this podcast. Do yourself a favor and look up the trailer for The Headhunter. It looks awesome. It looks so fucking good. Jordan Downey is the dude that did this movie. He did Thanksgiving. That's a great beard. Um, and Thanksgiving movie. 3. And Thanksgiving the third or whatever it is. Yeah. This is a movie about a medieval warrior that's collecting heads of monsters. It was made with a $30,000 budget. Oh, shit. I read about this movie. That's right. I read about this movie. All right. It's like, was it $30,000 or $50,000? $30,000. And it looks like a fucking, like 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 $150 million movie. Yeah. Yeah. This guy is a genius. Um, I know he did a, he did a Critters fan film about the, about one of the bounty hunters. And it looked like a big budget movie. Um, it was just a short fan film. It's one of the best fan films I've ever seen. Um, but it's it's uh the the dude who plays the headhunter is just a big grizzled medieval warrior viking looking dude looks and he's like jacked. He, and he's jacked up he's got a big fucking beard you know he fucks um and he the opener goes i always thought i could protect her what took her from me is still out there <laughs> um they're calling this a gut punch of tension horror and dread Listen, like, man, this fucking trailer, oh, we're watching it right now, looks, just read looks it. ridiculous. Oh, did it? Oh, well, yeah. fuck me. Like, <laughs> like a point of tension, horror, and dread. Yeah. Well, there you have it, everyone. The timing uh, was but perfect. But like, this looks like, what, uh, Pat, what's, what video game does this remind you of? Devastating Climax. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it like, like Oblivion or something? But been there, man. Been there. <laughs> been there, done Did you say you Devastating Climax? Yeah, I'm getting the at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah that looks good it yeah, looks, looks it looks great. actually really good but i hope it's not one of those where you know all the all the good shit is in the trailer yeah. i actually don't you think know, so because it it's a thirty thousand dollar movie it bounced so. around yeah. a lot in that trailer and it was very vague 
There was it hardly did. any yeah. dialogue. Um, I mean, I mean, they showed a monster's face. I, that looked actually pretty it cool. Yeah. Looked really good. Um, this may be one of those things where they don't show the whole monster. Yeah, just, of course. Like Chud, probably just parts of it. But Ugh. this looks very entertaining. I like how it looks. I like how it's shot. Um, I don't know exactly where it was filmed, but you could look for this May seventh. Oh shit! Next week. Yeah, mm-hmm. coming out really soon. Nice. I am, On VOD. Yep. And nice. uh, and the DV Dizzle. Uh. But yeah, Dead let that so, let that yeah. sink yeah. in again, guys. Thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's sick. I was on I was in that movie Slime City Massacre that had a twenty five thousand dollar budget and it doesn't look nearly as good. This as This looks this looks like like the cine- cinematographer from The Revenant fucking mm, film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what this looks like. Yep. Yeah. So do that did Thanks Killing, which we are all fans of. Went on to do nice this. Tits, bitch. <laughs> Best opener ever. Favorite oh, really, God, yeah. really, and just oh, they were just big and flopping everywhere. Should have been my wedding vows. <laughs> Fucking nice tits, bitch. I, I do nice my wedding. My wedding vows were predator quotes, which I thought was pretty good. But yeah. I'll go fuck myself. Um, get to the chopper. Get to, that, was, that, was, that was that was the last line. Uh, <laughs> so a uh, little update on the movie It. All we know is, in quotes, I swear it's coming in regards to a trailer. (laughs) Moving on. (laughs) Well, so it looks like season two of Castle Rock is going to be featuring Salem's Lot. Yep. Uh, That's pretty cool. I actually, uh, I, this slipped by me. I know there's just one season, so I could catch up on it. Uh, Is it good? It's a pretty good show. I haven't finished it yet. I think I'm like eight eight episodes in, but everything I've seen, I mean, all the tie-ins to to the Stephen King books. I mean, it, it, it's a cohesive story. Fucking the dude. Oh God, I forgot his name. Skarsgård, the guy who played uh, Pennywise in the new It. Oh, yeah. He's amazing in it. Just pretty much everybody in the show is cool. <laughs> what happened to uh, What happened to his older brother, the one Alexander? that was in True Blood? What happened to him? Did he, he, just, still do, he still makes movies. Does he? Yeah, yeah. Huh. He's in other movies. He's like in mid, mid-budget mid movies now because he went from... I think he tried to get, uh, they, they tried to do like a big, big, big duh, duh, I can't fucking talk today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they tried to do like a big budget thing with uh, Tarzan because he was in the last Tarzan movie oh with Sam God, Jackson and Margot right. Robbie. And that tanked because it was yeah. a horrible fucking movie, but he was jacked in it. Yeah. And then from there, he, he just, he just plays everything. bit parts in movies now. He's not really? like a leading man. He was in that, uh, what was that fucking battleship? Was he in that? And then he was in that one. Was he in a horror was movie? Awful. What? Wasn't he in a horror movie? I have no uh, idea, yeah, honestly. Uh, um, something about like creaker. He rapes somebody in it. Cabin. He, it's creek like his. Something. No, I I know what you're talking about. It's on the tip of my tongue. I'm sure if someone's listening, probably screaming yeah. it right now. Well, you're a fucking nerd. Yeah. <laughs> nerd. That family, though. I mean, you got the dad who's who's huge. Uh, they're Stellan Skarsgård. And then you got him. <laughs> What's his name? Alexander Skarsgård. Alexander Skarsgård. Alexander Skarsgård. Hey, let's get and then nerd. what about the it kid? Bill Skarsgård. Bill Skarsgård. Okay. There you uh, go. Alexander Skarsgård is actually Skarsgård. in that. Skarsgård. Skarsgård. Mm, Skarsgård. Skarsgård. He's, uh, he's in that. Uh... Straw Dogs. That's Straw, what Straw was Dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't James you. Marsters in that? Thank you. That was a remake. Yes. Yep. Because the remake, uh, the old one was with Dustin Hoffman. And I guess it was all fucked up. What's the what's the movie with Ben Stiller where he's a Zoolander? Jesus, he's in the beginning of Zoolander. He's one of the models. Yes, he he's one of the models yeah. that dies. Which yep. we, we watched that recently. Yeah, we're like, the freak what the gasoline fuck? fight yep. accident. <laughs> yep, <laughs> a freak thing, really. Yeah, poor guy. Uh, I mean, I don't know, poor guy. He's got a really good fucking career. So, oh, but he man. peaked with Eric on True Blood. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, Us is coming out June fourth. So if you're like Hooray. Eugene, you could pick that up and watch it and talk <laughs> about how it's the greatest movie ever and talk about that. social commentary and never blah, said that. Blah, 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 blah. I just said it was a good movie. Okay. Uh do you guys know about the the high school in New Jersey that did uh in uh the alien play? Yeah, and then Sigourney Weaver showed up. Isn't that awesome? Yes. That That's is so like cool. my dream. Oh my god. She showed up on uh four two six. Yep. Yeah, that would be like us doing a podcast uh, about Linnea Quigley and then her just popping just, up. Just uh, I don't know. Like, hey guys, sitting on your oh, space. My God, what? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! You, you made, always got to take it there. You made that really weird. He did, he did didn't yeah. he? Oh, sorry, too about much. That. Yeah. sorry about that. You know, too much. This sorry is why that. she doesn't like her. She doesn't like our shit anymore. This is no, why you haven't gotten any texts or DMs from her 
That's why you yeah, scared her. She you listened, scared she her. Listened, I, 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 <laughs> Damn it. She well, thought he was someone else. She just got her glasses fixed. <laughs> She's like, oh shit, who's this dude I've been talking to? Well, that explains all the fucking mis- <laughs> the, 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 her oh, spelling errors. God. Uh, yeah, she showed up. There's actually videos of it. If you haven't seen it, I recommend looking at it because it's adorable. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, the the one that uh, the one girl that was, I think she's a senior. She was in charge of the whole play. Yep. Was just like, oh my god, you're my idol. Can I just please hug you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aww. Like it was so cute, and she and Sigourney Weaver was like just happy to be there. Of course. Yeah. Um, did you guys see anything from the play? It's I like, just saw that there one was, part. I saw one. I saw. I saw an image. It looked a few images, but there was one with like the uh, with like the 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 the, the alien. Yes. and then they had like the the the, 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 the dock doors. Yeah, it yeah. actually looked pretty for a fucking high school play. Uh, high school they play. It looked pretty it. good. I don't like remember. the set pieces and shit looked looked pretty awesome. Yeah. No man, I I don't remember high school plays like looking like this. Like yeah, no. And also, no. real quick, I want to applaud their parents because they were uh, raised right. Yeah, they were. Raised at the, Yeah, they were. Those are some us motherfuckers right there. Oh, totally. Totally. It's super Look at great. that. Look at the fucking, look at their costumes and everything. Like, and that's not even like a big ass high school. Look yeah, at that. No. It's even like a huge stage. Oh, my God. That's so cool. So cute. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> I wonder how they did the chest burster scene. I was just going to say that. Oh, really? Yeah, oh God, man. They have the entire play. Do they really? Yeah. Look Let's at that, so we can see it on YouTube, huh? Yeah. Yep. Oh, they have they have blood. Alien okay, the play cool. full show North Bergen, New Jersey High School. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna right. look it up. Oh my god. Oh, here okay. they so got the chest person. We're scene. watching it right now. Pat just happened to bring it up, and the ch- wow, that's we have to see the scene. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh my yeah, god. guys, we apologize. No, it's not a problem. We're gonna talk through it. Thing. So. Oh my god, this, this is, is so good. He's do- yeah. Oh, so how did they get away with this? So that how did was they get away with awesome, that? <laughs> guys. That was awesome. Blood sprayed Straight everywhere, up in the air. This oh is a high God. school. Play- oh, there's a little alien! Oh, oh my God! God. I would. I want to. Holy we have shit! To, we have to eventually like just all sit and watch this. Is there such thing as like teenager fever? Like I don't want a baby, that but I would so like be cool. cool with a teenager. You right? have. Yeah. We, you stop. have your our nephew. Let's, True. Yeah. That was super cool. Oh my god! Wow, how that, that fucking actor awesome. gets so much blood on him? That was amazing. They stood over it. <laughs> yeah. It was That's a, pretty funny. Blood cannon. Just yeah. Went that was a t- oh my gosh! She got. She took the full she blast. Got blasted yeah. with it. That Holy was so crap. good. Yeah. That was good. Our, wow. uh, our guest from a few episodes ago, makeup effects Rod Dirk is underneath. <laughs> They're like, all right, kids, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, blood Here we go. <laughs> Uh, Look at that! There you go. There goes the, the doctors. <laughs> Pat's still getting into Good, it. Yeah, Pat. Pat got, my ADD is awesome. kicking in. I keep. Do they have a real it. cat? Jonesy. Jonesy. <laughs> jo- Jonesy. Jonesy. Look at they got Jonesy. <laughs> they, they, I don't think that's a real kitty. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a stuffed cat. <laughs> oh, that's man. awesome. That's awesome. She kind of yeah. has the hair too. Yep. What a time to be alive, man. Yep. Look at that. They got the the Whalen Yutani. Uh, insignia yeah. on the side there i want to know how much money they put into this production i, uh, I don't like know these, man listen these kids it, have rich parents these, oh absolutely yeah. well, north bergen new jersey that maybe. or they they raise their own money when they just sell candy bars crack like the, the car wash thing <laughs> crack crack they sold crack well this is new jersey <laughs> they sold True. meth yeah depends is it newark i <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That that that's awesome. Yeah, it is true. I mean, it's a, it and and the thing is th- that's awesome about it is that there's like a positive article about it. Look at the look at the engineer. Oh my god! Holy shit, man! Yo, that alien is. Patch is just throwing all the pictures. At, wow! Oh my god! Wow! Yeah. Look at that. Do yourselves a favor, people. And Holy just look shit! At this yeah, because... check it up on YouTube. It, it looks awesome. <clears throat> It yeah, does. Holy shit. Good job, kids. Yeah, great. There is there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. Yes. One mm. last thing. Uh, I haven't seen this yet. I heard it's terrible. <laughs> uh, Death House. Death House. Come on. I heard it's terrible. What? The Expendables of Horror Expendables is terrible? Of horror. That's what I heard. But then again, it's been out forever and I haven't okay, found it yet. But also, like, 
did what we is the, what is the criteria for like bad are we talking yeah. like fun are they I talking don't like I academy award what what you know what for one of the things that i heard about is that because they're, they're calling it like the expendables of horror they because got all they these icons of, yeah but uh, from what i heard is that they get like most of them get like one line or one quick yeah. scene and then they're gone yeah that's like what they don't too. they don't they're not part of like the big story so the movie's about like a secret prison that mm-hmm. has like the worst of the worst mm-hmm um, which is also kind of a story on which I'm going to talk about later um, for our, our subject today. But yeah, it's, it's like a secret prison. And then somehow Kane Hodder is like the, the got a 40 percent. But there's only five reviews. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, this, right, they, they, right. they've been talking about this movie for like two years. Dude, no, more than two years. Two, Has it been more than two, two years? years ago? We were at Buffalo Comic Con and this dude came up with the death house, yeah. death house like swag and like gave it to us and it was autographed by like the director and stuff and he's that's like that's cool he's like yeah. can we get a picture with you holding it we're gonna put it up on our twitter death house is gonna be out in a couple months this mm-hmm. was like two fucking years ago yeah, that's crazy <clears throat> um that's crazy well now you have your chance to see it may 5th on netflix on netflix yeah man. okay good good yeah i don't so, have to pirate it then no <laughs> yeah. yeah so i uh i, I think we should watch it and then eventually review it on the review it on the show it works for me yeah, yeah. man shit i wanted to see it so maybe uh, maybe it not sucks. next maybe not next episode maybe the one after it just to give some more time so more people can Fine watch with it me so if you're listening make sure you li- watch the movie death house when it comes out may 5th on netflix and we'll and, review uh, it in two weeks yeah we'll put a little review ski on it so the critics gave it 40 percent, but then the audience gave it 60 percent of rotten tomatoes yeah. which is kind of like i just see it par for the course with a horror movie so yeah. oh totally. they don't really right, hate it right. hate it yeah so I mean I'm I'm hoping that it's just all I want to get out of this movie is that it's just fun. Yep. I mean I I don't I will I don't like saying anything bad about him, but Kane Hodder is not what you call a good actor. Man. And you, you boo. You know what? <laughs> I it, you know what? I, not I'm not saying a that good he's a good actor. I'm not saying he's a he's a good actor, but he's not I've seen worse. Way okay. worse. Okay. And you haven't seen Charlie's Farm yet. No. Okay. But still, it just it just Charlie's Farm was great. Kane Hodder was not good. He was in that. great. Yeah. Kane you know, Hodder, never, if you're listening, you why I think it's great. Both of you guys have Amazon Prime, right? Yeah, man. Did you see the did you see the documentary on him? Not yet. Oh, okay. Not well, yet. No. Maybe I'll maybe change Amazon your opinion Prime after you see and it. Mikey uses it. Oh. 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 I I I oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Man, I, I think okay. I think for 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 what for, for the training or lack of training that he's had. Yeah. And I mean, there's some he, he's trying to stretch his fucking he was trying to ch- stretch his acting chops. You know, he doesn't want to be known something. for just Jason, even though he knows that's his bread and butter. But uh, the couple of scenes, a few scenes that I've seen him in, like by, as himself, not as himself, but playing like a dramatic scene or something. He did pretty good. Listen, this dude could cry on cue. Uh, Nobody hatch, could, hatch hardly it. anybody could do that. Yeah, hatch yeah. yeah. So, I mean. Just the fact that you can cry on cue, you you got you got my kudos because I like, can't do that shit. Hatchet three when he's in that sex scene. Oh, Ugh. oh man, I agree. <laughs> like I said, there's, <laughs> he's not <laughs> he's love, not he's not the best I, actor, but he's not he's far from the worst. I do love his uh, his his chin to neck thing. He's looking more and more like Thanos. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. Yes. I mean, but also stop. Kane Hodder is my favorite uh, Juggalo. So. He's a fucking juggalo. Oh, he's up. He's down with the clown, man. No shit. Yeah. There's All a right. lot of a lot of pictures with him at cons sporting a big hatchet man around his neck. <laughs> yeah. Huge, huge That's juggalo. Cool. He's That's cool. He's got much clown love, man. I like uh in the documentary that I that I saw, a lot of people he started off as a joke, like uh taking pictures of people and choking them, like pretending to choke them. He got in trouble for and that, now right? people did he? Keep going. No, now people I'll- ask to do it, and he has so much fun that he actually like practically chokes people <laughs> so he doesn't do that like, anymore he applies pressure yeah he, he doesn't do it anymore he doesn't do it anymore i uh, our uh actually the client that we share uh lauren yeah. eason yeah. our uh, our buddy um he uh he said keen hodder stopped doing that at conventions because someone tried suing him no shit yeah grabbed his grabbed a throat a little too hard of somebody who didn't appreciate it and uh we're like oh no he crushed my <sighs> lorax fuck those people Wait, that's the Lorax. So Lorax speaks for the trees. Yeah. But, yeah, the Lorax. <laughs> the your thorax. Thorax. There Your windpipe. Yeah. yeah. Th- your larynx. Yeah. Your larynx. Yes. Larynx. I, how do you, how do you larynx say it? Larynx. And I speak for the trees. How do you say it? 
Larynx. L- what? I say larynx. Larynx? Yeah. It's sure. Larynx. I'll say it. Uh, no. It's spelled. Yeah, that's the way it's you 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 oh, okay. pronounce it phonetically. Larynx. All right. Well, boom boom larynx, boom. Let not me the larynx. say larynx. Larynx. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can't not. <laughs> like I can't not respond that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh guys that's all i have on the docket today just my own shin yeah i just broke out in a creed Stop it. <laughs> um so today we decided as a topic to cover uh now we were just doing a couple because we're probably going to come back to this again i want to cover uh horror comedies which Yay. is which are just a blast and there seems to be more and more that uh these are really really been like being pumped out a lot lately seems like every year there's a good handful of horror comedies that come out some are a little more ridiculous than the others sometimes they use a lot of the same gags in them however i still like it i know recently we uh we viewed uh the night watchman which was uh which was a lot of fun it was just security guards that were working in working a, a late night shift and vampires ended up taking over and like they did goofy shit like one guy ate a meatball sub started burping and vampires <laughs> couldn't go near him because of it there's just a lot of fun stuff in that I, drew you remember that one i do yeah i mean but but there was a lot of like reused things in there yeah. um but i mean that's all well and good i uh, but if you go back to like uh I like I'd say like Shaun of the Dead was really like the start of this. I mean, you had a lot of parody stuff beforehand on. Um, and obviously, if you go back to like uh, Young Frankenstein. Yes. Um, even up to like horror comedy, like Dracula Dead and Loving. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, Dracula. Fuck, it's been like 10 uh, episodes. No. Wow. He was doing well. Damn, he was doing so well. He was doing so Shit. well. Shit. Guys, I'm just trying to have a good time. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Live your life. Uh, yeah, so something like uh, along the lines of that, they had a lot of parody movies, but then it's like they kind of took a turn to where uh, they were just like like fun, a little more than campy, just horror comedies. Um, even go as far as to say something along the lines of like, so I married an axe murderer. Um, which is an absolute classic. Yeah. But I want to go to 2008 on a movie called The Cottage. Eugene, have you seen this? No. Not a lot of people know about The Cottage. Um, You could rent it on Amazon Prime, and I'm sure there's other means other means to get around this movie. It was directed by Paul Andrew Williams. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. It was, it, yeah, it was released in 2008. It's these two, uh, these two brothers... And another guy who's a fucking bumbling idiot. Um, they kidnap the daughter of a club owner that they work for. Um, but the whole thing is like, you know, you can't like they, they have their faces covered. They're changing their voices. Uh, they take her out to a cottage and you think she's just like this. They pull her out. She's clearly drugged. They tie her up to the chair. When she comes to, it turns out she's not like a damsel in distress. She's a bad bitch. <laughs> like she like gets loose. She beats the fuck out of one of the dudes. It's so funny. She's awesome. Andy Circus is in this movie. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. There he is. Yeah. Uh Andy Circus is one of those very to me a very underrated actor. I know he's very. a he's a character actor actor, method actor, whatever. He plays a lot of I mean, he's snow in Star CG. Wars. He's a CG he's, actor. Yes. Uh between Caesar um Gollum. Yes, Gollum's and Smeagol. <laughs> um and uh like uh, King Kong. S- s- uh Snape uh, I almost said Snape. <laughs> <laughs> Snoke. <laughs> um Andy Circus is very, very, very good. Um so what they they're they're kind of in a rut. They need money, so they go out to this cottage, they have the girl kidnapped, and they're trying to do a ransom. Well, the guy who owns the club knows that uh like he like figures that he doesn't take long for him to like figure it out like who took his daughter so he sends like these like badass yakuza go- dudes out to remember the yakuza yep, guys yeah they go out to like this this cottage that's in the woods while all this is going on there just so happens to be a fucking jason Voorhees type guy in this in the woods there <laughs> and my god like this movie hmm. is fucking violent as shit it's 
so much blood. And it's blood. a comedy? It's yes. so funny. It's so like watching, funny. yeah, like Holy watching the trailer, shit. like we were just, it. No. yeah, I wouldn't guess oh that it was a horror God. comedy. It's, so, it's so fucking funny. All of like the interaction between like the all of the characters, and the, oh my yeah. God, and hmm. her, she re- actually like really reminds me of Baby Spice. <laughs> and, Very like, good. Yeah. Very it, good. She's, <clears throat> and, I had yeah. a sick infatuation with Baby Spice. Uh, yeah, most of the guys. Dude, haven't we all? Baby or Ginger, go. Ginger. Ginger. Fair. <laughs> it's uh, unanimous. Yeah, it is unanimous. But I'll take that scary one. Yeah. Nobody wants yeah. that scary one. <laughs> Bring her my way. Not even Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> you're not. So, no, the blood and gore in this movie, like, some it's of good, the kills gore. are, and it's so funny. Like, they're just, the way that they do everything, it's just, it's so good. It all, and it all takes place, like, in between these two cabins in one night. Like, huh. it's just, it's great. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, the, like I mentioned before about the Yakuza guys that are less like going to come kill these guys quick, get the daughter back. Like this Jason Voorhees dude takes them out in a extremely barbaric way. Now this is 2008 around the time when like horror movies like this were just like really fucking over the top. This movie came out 11 years ago. Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. That's weird. When How is it? it they've like never even heard of this movie. I actually didn't know about this movie. Uh, a gentleman at the gym that, uh, he as soon as he locks eyes with us, he comes over and goes like, hey, man, did you watch blah, blah, blah. And we just end up like talking horror movies for two hours. And <laughs> yeah. Not work out at all. Yeah. Pretty um, much. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but he was uh, he said that this is the best horror comedy he's ever seen. And wow. I that's have a bold to, statement. I have to agree. It's a very no bold shit. statement. This is very this is up there with Tucker and Dale for me. It's definitely up there. Yeah. It's very, very good. Plus, is it up there? with? Well, I mean, huh. I, well. I don't. I don't remember what your opinion is on Shaun of the Dead. I love Shaun. I love of the Shaun. Dead. Of the Dead. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's yeah. up there with them too. Oh, with that. I yeah, like absolutely. Hot Fuzz better than Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> Fuzz was good. Uh, well, I'm actually looking forward to this this new one that's supposed to make Shaun of the Dead look like Sesame Street. The uh, um, Slaughterhouse Rules. Yes, it's the the two of them. Yeah, it's the same guys. Right? Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah, that's coming out on DVD soon, right? Nick Frost and Nick, Simon Nick Pegg. Frost and Simon Pegg. Yeah. Um. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it's I, I, it's gonna be fun seeing them back together, having a good time. Oh, every a, time they're working together, it's fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, but instead of zombies, this is what monsters. Yes, one monster or a bunch of monsters. I think it's a bunch of monsters. Um, yeah, but not just that. The 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 Jason Voorhees type character in this. He it, it, there's no mask, but his face is just. Uh, it's like a mix of Frankenstein and Leatherface. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. he's well over six foot six. Uh, he has the, the, I got it. The, from the seeing the, from seeing this, I, I get a Jason meets Victor Crowley vibe. Kind of, mm-hmm. yeah. Kind of, yeah. Okay, yeah. He does have a Victor Crowley look, yeah. which I mean, it's around the same t- 2008, so not mm-hmm. not too far off. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but it's. Are we watching the whole movie? What's going on no, here? No, no, this is just a clip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was gonna yeah, say. So, so Andy, I was like, I thought it was a trailer at first. Uh, I'm paying attention. <laughs> Andy Circus is the. Uh, is like the straight guy the whole plan's his and then his brother he kind of fucks it up a little but then another guy gets involved and that's where everything just goes just to shit. Sh- goes to shit she gets loose beats the fuck out of the weenie brother um but then of course it's the whole thing they have to like like she helps them they help her they're just just they go into full survival mode yeah but guys nice. the cottage yeah you have to to see the cottage right. you'll laugh you'll laugh some more you'll go holy shit whoa no way and then you'll laugh again yeah nice. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah stuff. there's a, kind of a neat little twist at the end too yes nice little nice little, nice little yeah. unnecessary very unnecessary because it didn't need it but i loved it but Don't also spoil necessary. it I so why is it like on the tomato meter it looks like rotten tomatoes it looks like a 72 percent critics 40 Five? All right, Is that guys, fucking old. Forty-five percent. I want all of audience? our listeners to go to Rotten Tomatoes, look up the cottage, and pump this up. Yeah. Get it up to sixty-five. They're not going to listen to you. They're no. God damn it. <laughs> all, all of you. All, all, t- of all you. twenty-two of you. All right, now. A whole lot of you now. <laughs> all right. Yeah, man. Right. I mean, it, it, I mean, listening to you talk about it and seeing this trailer makes me want to watch it. So, dude, watch the shit out of it. Yeah, watch mm-hmm. the fuck out of it. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Eugene, yes. Your turn. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Come on, okay. Eugene. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go old, older. 
like way older, like a few decades old when it comes to horror comedy. I mean, you came up with talking way back. You taught. I mean, you said Young Frankenstein, which Young Frankenstein for me is one of the greatest, one of the greatest horror comedies ever. Oh yeah, ever. Oh yeah, ever. You want to take some roles? Him and Gene Wilder and Frankenstein are doing uh, putting on the Ritz. I mean that that whole. That's my one of my favorite scenes. That but I've, just I've, from beginning to end, it's fucking hilarious. I've always wanted to do that in a wrestling ring. That that same <laughs> gag with somebody like a big dude. Yeah, and like have him do the. Yeah, I because yeah. uh, I I was with that one dude Riot that was big, mm-hmm. and uh, he was kind of like a Frankenstein type thing. Like, oh really? Uh, like he, like Undertaker ish whatever. Yes. And I wanted to do the whole thing dancing around him. But it just it wouldn't come off in that in like a wrestling ring, you know. I get it. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Gene Wilder is such a lovely man. Gene Wilder was awesome in everything that he did, even you know, and a lot of my favorite movies. I mean, obviously Willy Wonka. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, a lot of the movies that he did with uh with Richard Pryor, I was. Oh, I absolutely. Yeah. Hear no evil, see no evil. Yeah. Stir crazy, like oh my he god. He had such like a presence, and the way he emotes is just yeah. And I mean, this movie, too. I mean, this movie had a ton of people. It was a Mel Brooks yeah. movie. You know, I'm not. Oh God, I forgot the name of the guy that plays uh, Igor. He has a like, those Igor. big um, um, Igor oh, oh, he, with uh, the big uh, eyes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I mean, we got Cloris Leachman in it. Terry Garr, Gene Wilder, Peter Boyle as the monster. Um, who is the. Oh, my gosh, she's a famous comedian who uh, who plays his wife. She's been in a ton of movies. She's, uh, the, uh, at the end, she oh turns into the Bride God. of Frankenstein. Marty, Marty Feldman is Igor. Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman. Was in, uh, yes. Yeah, he was it's right out there on yeah. screen. <laughs> he did that thing with his eyes, man. Hold on, let me see. Who, who am I talking about? Uh, Cloris Leachman's in it. And the ongoing. There's so, there's so many people in this movie, and this movie was just. It was so funny, so funny. It took like the whole like Frankenstein mythos and and, and you know turned it on his head and just made it super funny and it was like and every they, little scene was a joke and it was every great. little scene every and, little then, scene. and then they had jokes that continued from yes, scene to scene yep. it was so like, good yes he was my boyfriend <laughs> uh and that uh the the little gag with uh uh marty felt his his hump yeah switching sides, switching sides. Yep. what hump <laughs> yeah I just then when we they got, get uh, up to the castle and he sees the the door, he's like, "Oh, what knockers!" And she's just like, "Oh, sick!" <laughs> that oh, is my favorite so like exchange in any movie. Oh God, what a just Cloris great, Leachman. Cloris Leachman movie. always looked old. Yeah, that poor lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's probably like 158 years old right now. <laughs> but it was. It, I mean, it's so. What was the running joke when uh, every time they said something, uh, the wolves howled or. There was a specific word or phrase that they said. <laughs> Patch is laughing at the trailer. I, I, uh, I will only think about that. Uh, my actually, one of my favorite gag in the movie is the Abby Normal. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. yes. What brain did you get, Abby Normals? <laughs> um. The funny thing is that this isn't the movie that I was intending on talking about. No? <laughs> Wait, really? No, yeah. We're just, uh, we're in terms of, I, I just said, like, that's an older movie. But one of the movies that I grew up on uh, watching, which I totally love, was uh, Love at First Bite. Never heard of that movie, have you? I've heard of it. With George Hamilton I've... playing Dracula. Oh. Oh, I've seen he that He moves one. from Transylvania to New York City. Yep. I know which one you're talking about. Oh, oh my God. It was. I watched it when I was so little. Yes. That's what, that's what like George Hamilton was like at the peak of his of his stardom. You know, he did movies like that. Zorro the Gay Blade. You know, but this one, this one stood out. I love, love, love this movie. You got the one dude that plays Renfield in it mm-hmm. um, with that with a creepy laugh. <laughs> one of the gags in the movie that I loved was because uh, George Hamilton plays Dracula. Yeah. And um, at one point he turns into a bat because he's looking for somebody to bite. And he goes and also kind of it was the 70s. So it was kind of like racist too, yeah. still like racist <laughs> yeah. stereotypes. He goes into he, he flies into a black family's apartment and the black fl- family try killing him because they think he's a flying chicken. Oh, and they want to eat him. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was like one of my favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. gags. He gets beat and they're beating him with a broom. Oh, they're like, get the God. chicken, get the chicken, get the chicken. And he finally gets out the window and the dad has a pot in his hand and a broom in the other. He's like, come on, chicken, come back. 
Like, that was one of my favorite, favorite scenes oh in it. God. So racist, but so racist. super funny. It had oh a dance God. number in it. It was just, I mean, it was good. It was one of those, like, original first mm. horror comedies. Yeah. And it just it just left, I don't know why. Like, for me, it just left, like, a uh, an indelible mark on me. That's um, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, they also, there was, a, I mean, those were big. Horror comedies started getting, like, pretty big back then because we had that movie. We had... Uh, you guys have heard of Once Bitten, right? Yes. That, yes. Absolutely. That was like one of Jim Carrey's I, first yeah. movies. Dude, I actually love that movie. That's a good movie. Yeah. Um, That was, what came out first? That or uh, Earth Women Are Easy? Oh, Earth Girls Are Earth Easy. Earth Girls Are Easy. I yeah. think Earth Girls Are Easy came out after. Did it? After so, Once uh, Bitten. I mean, Once, bit, Once Bitten was his first, like, go-to thing. It was, it was like his first movie. Yeah. That was such a good movie. Um, that was I that just, was real quick i just want to say how adorable pat is right now just giggling just giggling in the background <laughs> <laughs> um back on, on. Hey, real quick back on young frankenstein since this has been playing because pat's just loving life in there watching this <laughs> uh i forgot the blind man was gene hackman oh yes yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. he lights his thumb on fire <laughs> yes but no no this, come back please <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i think a good one to piggyback on yours is dracula dead and loving it too yeah because oh good god. lord micah knows i am probably Leslie one Nielsen of the only awesome. people on the planet who owns that on dvd that was really a, that was I a drug purchase you're probably right I, I had that before you no you ordered that we we were i swear to god we were at geckos you were drunk and you're like you like did the thing where you like kind of punched me in the chest oh, and you're like no, yeah, you're wow right. fuck oh, yeah, bro, you're <laughs> blah, blah, blah. i don't fucking shit order right now and she went on amazon and ordered it we get it like three days later she's like i don't remember ordering math micah does a great impression of me for such yeah. a great impression uh secondly yeah that's kind of what i do and i fucking love this movie it's a good movie it's a mel brooks movie too though right it is yeah, yeah. and it's so funny i love leslie nielsen i love the guy yeah. that plays renfield i love all the characters like micah knows how <laughs> oh, often yeah. i quote what? renfield you like, do you really get the other day i was we're at brunch and you <laughs> i was at brunch and i had i got a waffle and it had raspberries on it. So I was going, raspberries? I don't see any raspberries. Because it's like when she's Renfield just, was at lunch. She's to me because she doesn't eat anything that's not processed. True. Sure. <laughs> I, I ate the strawberries, you cunt. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's the scene where like Renfield, he's checked into the loony bin and he's having lunch with the doctor. And he starts like <laughs> eating bugs instead of the food. And so like the doctor catches him and he's like, what did you just put in your mouth? And he said a raspberry. Like, raspberry? I don't see it. He says it with like a book. I did too. And it's just oh, so funny. I fucking love this movie. I love how it starts when they're like, no. I know. She's shaking her, yeah. her. You must not go. <laughs> Take the cross. Take it. <laughs> she slams it. <laughs> But you don't understand. I'm expected. <laughs> uh, and how about that? The gag with the blood? Oh, my God. It's just uh, spraying everywhere. Mel Gibson is my... Mel Gibson. Whoa. Wow. Mel Brooks. Wow. Was, Mel Gibson is my favorite Van Helsing. Wow. <laughs> Isn't Mel Brooks Jewish? Yeah. yeah. Well, totally. Wow. Look what you just did. I... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Ju Julian, if you're listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> you mistook a Jewish person <laughs> for an anti-Semite. <laughs> he Mike apologized. Is just, Mike is just unifying everyone. You know, it's just we're all one. Trying man. to bring us yeah. together. We're all we all one. just get along. Yeah. So the dude from Wings nails uh, <laughs> nails Mina a couple times in the. That's Mina, right? Or no, Lisa? That, that's not Mina. That's Lisa. That's Lisa. Lisa. He What's his name? Is his name Tim Daly? Who cares, dude? From that's the dude that played. Yeah, that's the dude Jack that played uh, Jack Torrance and, in the Shining miniseries. That sucked. So balls. Bad. So bad. But the gag where he keeps getting sprayed with blood. She's still alive. <laughs> Another. <laughs> one. Yeah. Uh, what else was awesome in this? There were so many. Literally. Oh my god, his dream sequence. <laughs> when he's walking around in like the daytime, he has a dream that he can like be in the sunlight. Would you like some wine? Yeah. <laughs> Renfield comes out freaking out and he's like, What? I'm drinking wine and eating chicken. And he's so happy. <laughs> I'm cured. I'm you, cured. You're yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> I never drink. Vine. Also, I like how we kept saying Lisa when it's definitely Lucy. 
I'm like, this is wrong. Lucy, Jesus. <laughs> and we were just talking about her the other day because I we bet totally Lucy Penn were. Oh, we're dumb, but man, we are so dumb. Well, at least you corrected that, so I don't get yelled at by a certain someone. Ah, uh, yeah. um. Oh God, the whole movie's perfect. Thank you for 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 taking this on. Yeah, but if, also I'm in the mood to watch this now. I'm always in the mood to watch this, <laughs> as you're well fucking aware. And it, real quick, I also want to shout out the end. When he finally gets turned into dust and Renfield just draws a little <laughs> smiley face in the pile. Just like your old self. <laughs> How cool. I love Leslie Nielsen flying around as a bat with oh his my God, Leslie his head. Nielsen head. <laughs> with the bat ears. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. As he's burning up. Renfield! Renfield! <laughs> God, what a good movie. It is, but this also was not the movie that I chose. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, uh, we can keep we're doing it well that. for winging it. Uh, I know we were. I'm not winging it, I know. dude. I don't. I just. I work best on the go, man. Hell yeah, hell be, yeah. When you're can't riffing, be riffing. This. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. It all right. sounds fake. Then I don't want to be fake. <laughs> fake ass bitches. Man. I ain't no fake ass bitch. No, no, no. So um, what is it? I don't. know. Should I save it for another ten minutes? Fuck no. Do it now. All right. Well, then I guess we go and talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we are going to talk it. about it. All right, I'm fine. Just... Uh, 2014 John Mayer's film debut of Zombie. Oh, Zombie what? Zombie vers. <laughs> you didn't see Zombie vers? Never even heard of this movie. Eugene, yeah! you bitch, I've never bitch even bitch heard of this fuck. movie. Oh, yeah. Zombie vers. Yes. Yeah, I've seen about Zombie vers. Oh, what did you think oh, I was talking about? I thought about? you said Zombie verse. Like, I was oh, like, what the fuck is oh, that? Like, like zombie, zombie universe. Oh, like, zombie okay, verse. That's okay. why I was like, I've no. never even heard of this movie. Zombie verse. Zombie verse, yes. It starts zombie off with John verse. Mayer as the yes. one of the guys in the truck. Oh, my <laughs> God. They're driving the toxic waste. It's like, see that deer in the road? He's like, I see it. The other guy's like, I don't think you do. And then he proceeds to hit the deer He's and they get texting. into the accident. Yeah. <laughs> He was just texting. This is an it. awesome That's, movie. It was so ridiculous. It, it was. was bananas. Yeah. It was there so was, funny. There, this was we, good. We went as far as to even have an unnecessary s- subplot with like uh, the, the one chick's boyfriend cheated yeah. and they mm-hmm. all showed up. Turned out he fucking cheated on the, the, the yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> also, the beavers are adorable and horrible at the same time. <laughs> I'm so happy they did CGI them. They made the, they did them. They, 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 they did, did the puppets. They did yep. it right. Yep. Um, yeah, this movie was so ridiculous. Oh, it was just That's all from I can beginning say about to it. end banana sandwich. I mean, <laughs> when the people got got bit and then they turned to the zombievers too. Was she with the buck tail? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> their crazy eyes and their so, buck teeth. So you got to worry about the crazy zombievers, and you also got to worry about the people turning into yeah. zombie hybrids. Yeah, zombie yeah. beaver hybrids. Zombie beaver hybrids. Zombie zombievers. Um. Oh my god! All the actors did really well in this too. They like they were, it was the perfect amount of like cheesy yes. and like getting their shit down. I love the dude walking around <laughs> with the baseball bat in that because he's he holds it like Shelley Duvall. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Shelley Duvall. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shelley Duvall. I oh my god! No, this movie, even like the hey, guy look, that Eddie plays Murphy. like the the neighbor guy. Um, that was uh, across across the pond yeah. staring at them while they were the one chick took her top off. Yep. Oh yeah, there's also great use of boobs in this movie. Yeah. Oh were, yeah, yeah. Oh. There's boobs there. Yes, and they yeah. were perfectly placed. Like ever, it wasn't like it wasn't too much. It wasn't like all right, you just want me to watch this for boobs. It was just. But right. it but it wasn't like, hey, we're a B movie with no boobs. Like it was just yeah, it was perfect. It, it, yeah, that's just sacrilege. Also, the tagline of this movie is "You'll be damned." <laughs> God, I'm so mad. That was that's like a, that's like a Peter Vulo joke that's right there. That, I that didn't totally want to say is. It I'd say his last name wrong. That's yeah, right. I don't mean to. I know how it's pronounced. It just comes out of my mouth like that. Uh, Man. Uh, yeah. I also love the uh, end credits. It's a uh, no animals were harmed during the making of this film. Although the bear did receive a purple nurple. Not our fault. He started it. <laughs> like, these guys clearly had so much fun with this movie. And I fucking loved it. And we, I, like, it was one of those things that we scrolled to on Netflix. Yeah. And I was just like, 
you know what? Let's just watch it. The, like, ta- the title got me. Uh, like yeah. I saw that. I was like, all right, I got to see this shit. See, I saw that and I thought, I don't want to see this shit. Really? Like I was just like, yeah. I, it I just, don't know. It just it was, sounded so ridiculous that I just did. had to watch and it. And it did. And I appreciate that. But I, it was at a time where I was really sick of it. I'm like, I really want a good horror movie. Like, there I are just, times where we're just like, no, I'm I want sick something of the cheesy. dark. Yeah. I want something gritty. But then. Yeah. yeah, I and mean that's that's rare for me. Yeah, but, I mean, I get, my God, I love my cheese. I get in those mm. moods, and you know, and I wanted it, but then I this movie blew me away. It was now it was I might perfect. be wrong, but aren't they? Didn't they plan a sequel? I thought so. I, I thought, thought so I could have sworn that I heard somewhere it might or read somewhere those, that they like, were gonna they were gonna talk about doing a Zombievers too. Yeah, it, it just might be like a funding thing, just like all the other uh, we were promised movies. You know, I guess. I mean, well, s- somehow we got a Wolf Cop too. But we're still <laughs> without another Zombievers. I get uh, Pat. What are you playing on the on the screen here, man? Pat, what's going on, man? I don't know. We're watching some fucking. What is this? Torsos. Is that just, <laughs> is that just an erotic torso? <laughs> ah, I see what you're doing back there. That's why we can't see you. We turn around for you one minute. Rascal. And Pat's also, got something else. The going logo on. for <laughs> stop that. <laughs> the logo for Zombievers has that Sin City thing where it's just a red yep. background, uh, silhouette of. Uh, of a chick and then a, a, a beaver a chick up, spread eagle her. about yeah. to stab the beaver and the beaver's going straight for her, her beaver beaver yeah all right it's like beaver inception <laughs> beefception <laughs> yeah what are you laughing <laughs> sorry Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> you <laughs> you said that with such a serious look on your face yeah <laughs> you should have put sunglasses on after you said it yes and the who it was a started total David Crusoe CSI <laughs> Miami moment I'll be in my trailer <laughs> oh my god that was awesome you're mm-hmm. welcome mm-hmm. thank you mm-hmm. uh yeah god well, damn, that was that's mine. such a good movie so that was yours mm-hmm. zombie verse the, the zombie verse the, the zombie verse <laughs> That, oh, and i guess God, you guys are gonna lynch me <laughs> why because i said we i never were, seen it yeah oh. we were so upset with him i mean out of like all like the 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 shit that's like beyond obscure that you look at me and go come on what do you mean and then like yeah you know, you know. Yeah. uh which i'm really excited that the movie i i picked the cottage you haven't seen yes yeah. now you're gonna see it I then am. We'll, then we'll talk about it. Yeah. And you'll thank me. Well, we already talked about it. Well, we did. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. I didn't mean no, I'm no, here. No, no, I'm here, man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, we're just saying, guys, we do actually talk to each other outside of this podcast. We do. It's weird. We hang out. We talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. We even, talked use... to, we even talked to Pat outside of here. I go into Sometimes. Eugene's. I go Sometimes. into, yeah. <laughs> I go into Eugene's bathroom. I, I smell it. I, I, I use the toilet. It's great. Come on. So man. anyway, I drink, I drink all weird. your beers when you come over. I hand them out to friends. Let's not. Let's not. Why you, are we why, first off? Why you got to bring up old shit? And why you got to reopen an old wound and piss in it? So have you guys seen Funhouse Massacre? That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. No, I have not. No. Yes, you have. Oh, I have seen that one. Uh, that plays on cable like all the time. And I always want to watch it. And it's I just so don't. good. Is it really? Yes. God Funhouse Massacre looked like it was going to be awful. Yeah. But, but is that a horror comedy? Yes. Yeah. It very much is. Is it really? Oh, yeah. that's even worse. Dude, okay. Clint Howard's huh. in it. Oh, no shit. He plays uh, like he Clint plays Howard. a deranged, long-haired lunatic. Fucking, he uh, looks deranged. It's so funny. Oh, my God. You know, I, I want to say with Clint Which, Howard, it's weird. Thank God they had Ron Howard as a brother. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, he has a very vast career. Fair. Yeah. yeah. Clint Howard's in, uh, in a, and this. I'm not going to talk about it, but I do want to bring up that Clint Howard is in my uh, uh, one of my other ones I'll discuss on a further episode, uh, episode down the road. The Ice Cream Man? Yeah, Ice Cream Man. Oh, God, that's good. Yeah. And but Evil Speak? Evil Speak? Uh, yeah. Where she's just, he's like a little kid, but super ugly, too. Oh, mm-hmm. it's weird. Um, Funhouse Massacre, uh, the opener is uh, Robert England. He's a, a warden at this hidden prison in New York City. I think it's New York City. Um, It's underground, and it's a place where they have to keep these people because they're just, they're too banana sandwich for any other pen- penitentiary huh. uh, it's it's like a um it's a, a a fat guy who's a cook who is worked at like the one of the high, most high-end restaurants turned out he was cooking people and like serving it to you know everybody nice. um ron howard who just like dissects everyone 
there was a. Uh, you uh, mean Clint Howard? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Uh, Clint, Clint Howard. I can't um, picture. I can't picture one. Richie Cunningham cutting yeah. anybody up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, so it's uh, um, there is a a very very handsome mustachio man who plays as an evil dentist, um, and then uh, a huge mountain of a man who plays a professional wrestler. That I uh, actually murdered a bunch of people in the ring and stuff like that. Um, hmm. <laughs> Snapchatting over there, Drew? No. Yeah, man. Um, well, it's, they're all they're all held here. Uh, this this girl comes in, kind of does like a like an interview type thing with Robert England, seduces him a bit, kills him, and breaks. Oh, and there's another guy, an older guy that's kind of like the leader of all this. And uh, she breaks them all out. She ends up putting on this crazy clown outfit. And uh, it's the whole thing where, Drew, you said it in the past. Working at a haunted house, we could yeah. just start killing people and people will think it's part of the show. Yeah, that was and like that's, our thing. that's what this is. Yeah. It's a big, 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 big haunted house attraction. And uh, they all pick different rooms. And uh, occasionally they snatch somebody at the end of the group and just start torturing them, murdering them. And people come by and these people are screaming for the pleading for their lives. And people are like, wow, this is really good. Yeah. And they keep hmm. walking through. Um, this is like Pat's playing those... the trailer right now. I'm just watching. I'm yeah. just transfixed with it right now. Oh, Mike it's Mike and I seriously, looks good. like, we it's looked great. at each other at the same time and we're like, this is really good, right? Like, we were both, like, well, yeah, blown like, away. Like, super surprised. Yes. I, I, yeah. Shocked. I was we did, shocked. Because same thing that you thought. Like, we just, we expected it to be whatever, like, a shitty fucking yeah. standard clown I mean, even, movie. like, the cover art for it looks yeah, like generic good. Photoshop I know. bullshit, low-budget bullshit. And... No, I mean, this trailer actually makes it look good. It's yes, so good. It's very good. Huh. Uh, it was Halloween night, too. So that uh, the one uh, chubby Spanish guy is Machete. But he, That's I think he funny. just had like a spatula that he was fighting people off. With. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It was super really good. good. Wow. All super, right. super good. Fuck, man. That's two. Yeah. So two movies I got to watch. You got homework. Funhouse. Funhouse yeah, Massacre so in the Cottage, Eugene. You got, do you have any? Other, I hope uh, it's good because it's got a uh, 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's good. 69% for critics, 38% for general audience. So our listeners, nice. I need you to go to Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> you, and hey, Michael wants massacre. all 22 of you to go over. <laughs> There's like 23 of you. Huh? There's like 23. I mean, if you count us, because we listen to our own episodes too. So there's 26 of us. My 27. Dad. Shit. I can't I do math right now. My dad I'm listens so tired. to us because he said it feels like I'm there. Aww. <laughs> Caitlin said she fell asleep to us the other night. She likes hearing my voice. Aww. I know. I found out a couple of family members actually in New York City that actually listen to the podcast. I hope none of my family nice. ever listens to I, this. Yeah, ever. I was, I was, I was impressed. I was touched, and not mm. in that, mm. you know, priest I, way. That's fair. Bad touch. Yeah. Do you want to show us on the doll? Ha <laughs> Where's the doll? <laughs> You're looking at it. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Where did so, they touch you? Uh, I don't know. I think I hold on. Let me pull up my phone here because I, I, I'm probably I probably have some honorable mentions on here. There was a movie also from back in the day, you know, because I'm old, according to Pat. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> um, have you guys ever heard of Saturday the 14th? Yeah. No. I've heard about it. I didn't see it. Though. Never seen it? No, I never okay. seen it. Um, I talked about that recently with somebody, too. Did you really? Yeah, dude. It was super weird. It was on Amazon Prime. My tattoo artist. Because I caught it, it I caught it again recently, and I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Great movie. Funny movie. You know, uh, it's got, you know, his family moves into a house. The house has like 10, a 10 fucking percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Holy now, shit. That's oh, a, that's when there's a, a fuck you critics. A 10 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I want to watch the fuck out of it. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's I mean, it has some funny parts. It has some it has some, you know, some cool. There he is. Look at that. Oh, We're watching the preview God. right now. Super low budget looking. This looks great. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he have a, even has a prerequisite like scientist guy, a la Rocky Horror. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that, Look at that. eyeballs? In Richard the Benjamin's in it, who was also in Love at First Bite. Oh, my God. I want to watch that? this right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's got some, right, it's got some right. cool scenes. It's got some cool little, you know, practical How monsters. Many monsters are in this movie. Quite a few. Quite a few. Wow. Yeah. There's vampires in it. There's a creature from the Black Lagoon. There it is. Coming out of the bathtub. Oh my god! Oh, I thought that was a shark. Oh, <laughs> that's a, shark. Like a shark. Oh, that kind of looks like a chudzy like monster. Chud. Yeah. 
Oh wow, and even worse looking of Chud. Yeah, Chud, uh, yeah. Look at the bats. They look like they're like they're flying on strings. That's that that phantasm bug effect. Yes, <laughs> just, yes. Just yes. keep spinning it around. But yeah, I don't know if they still have it on Amazon Prime. But I mean, I need to find it's it. It's a it's a cute little movie. And I remember I, I remember it seeing it when I was a kid. Saturday the fourteenth. Saturday. Jeffrey Tambor's in it. Like he plays one of the one of the vampires. Young Jeffrey Tambor, and he's always been bald. <laughs> that dude has always been bald. Hey, we find a look. You stick with it. You man. do it. You do it. Uh I got that movie. Uh then when we let me see, honorable mention. Nobody talked about Zombieland. Yeah. Well, Zombieland was awesome. Yeah, Zombieland was great. I said Sh- uh, Shaun of the Dead. Slither. Now, is Slither considered a horror comedy? I, would, I, I laughed would. a great deal. Yeah. Yes. That I mean, it was kind of they had some quite a few parts that were tongue in cheek, then some of them were like it had that that nice mix that Shaun of the Dead had it of was, comedy uh, slash horror. It, it was 60 40, 40 percent horror, uh, a comedy, 60 percent horror. Yeah. 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 It was a good, very good combination there. James Gunn did a great job. Yeah, on that. he did. Yes. And then uh, Club Dread. Of course. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, my God. That movie. So Club bad. Dread. Club Dread is probably one of my favorite of the updated this <laughs> decade horror comedies that came out. That's fair. That came out this like in the past ten years. I feel I like want to say like that. Really yeah, old. I, I say think it like came early out early 2004. 2004. Yeah, man, I knew it was Fuck, like early okay, 2000s. last fifteen years. Sorry, I digress. Uh, and then the last honorable mention, which again, surprised nobody brought it up, Army of Darkness. I was just gonna say that. Oh man, that goes without saying. Yeah, but well, yeah. it doesn't. But we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> we're talking about horror comedies. <laughs> yeah, can't uh, not talk about it. Absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah. Um, Wait, I feel like. We could have another time where we delve into yeah. like the oh, army of darknesses I, and evil deads. Yes, I plan yes. on I plan on going back on a, and and doing horror horror comedies again and talking about shit we didn't mention. Today. Yeah, there's tons. Uh, there's so many of them, and that's. I mean, uh, we didn't even get to like the scary movies yeah. or any of those. So exactly. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Par- yeah. Paranormal whacktivity. Oh, oh, oh god. god. Fucking isn't that porn? No, it's not. It's not porn. It's a, <laughs> it's a parody of the Paranormal Activity movie. Yeah, I figured it, but it was. It's called Paranormal Activity. Yeah, because it's whack, yo. Whack. Not like I'm whacking. Oh off. shit! Okay, yeah, yeah no, I'm not watching that. I'd watch the porno though. Yeah, maybe I'm a horny toad though. Is it just like the scene from Ghostbusters with Dan Aykroyd? But I'm whacking it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but like, is he getting a blowjob from a ghost? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting a blowjob from a ghost. Well, well so, not I'm with that attitude. Porn. Not with that attitude? No. I got to play my cards right? Yeah, man. All right. Yeah. I got it. All right. We're good. Okay. All anyway. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, I, Micah has a weird look on his face like, should we end this now? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, 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 <laughs> Pat, what say you, man? Yeah, you see? No, That's right, what I right, thought. All right. All right. That's all right. what I thought. Let's um, give our audience another, like, all 22 of them, uh, another, like, six minutes. Six minutes. Come on, man. Six minutes. You can do a lot in six minutes. We can. We can. Uh, do you- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you? You got nothing? You got nothing. Huh? I just threw a couple of honorable. Actually, I threw like four movies out there. You did. Um, oh, I guess we reached the part of the notebook where there's no yeah, more pages. Man, that's, that's there's it. nothing I, written I on the turn, page. I could turn to my phone like a normal person, but man, this... uh. Uh, no, I'll have you know I had notes. Did Only you really? I used uh I used my uh my my phone instead of uh, a notebook. My question is <laughs> would you consider Return as a Living Dead a horror comedy? Oh god. Return yeah. of Living Dead is definitely a horror comedy. Oh, totally. See, it's so I funny. Agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Fucking ah zombies. Oh my god. I that- completely Forgot about movie uh, was zombies. So what movie? Good. Ah, zombies. Ah, ah zombies. zombies. Oh, yeah. ah, zombies. If you hang on, if as you, an a h a a exclamation point. Are there G's in zombies. there? Zombies. So ah, zombies. Ah, okay, zombies. I get it. Wasting away. What is that? Oh look, ah, zombies. I guess ah, we're gonna zombies? be watching a trailer for that too. I that's actually Drew. I completely forgot about I ah, zombies. I know. I guess that movie's so bad it doesn't even have a critics rating. On Rotten Tomatoes. It was so fifty five percent audience. It was it's, so dumb. It looks good, dumb. Though. Look at that. It's, what is that? 
it's it's two zombies dumb. posing like a prom picture yes 2007 and it was like the it was kind of like the shit the toxic waste barrel somehow it ends up getting into ice cream yeah, they're all at a bowling alley it. it starts off black and white they eat the ice cream and then they're like oh god my head my head and they get into like uh they have like the convulsions and stuff yep. like that and the movie turns to color um and they're talking to each other everything seems fine uh but from the point of view from a, a like a regular person say like somebody on the outside of this bowling alley looking in they're fucking zombies and they're like they'll go up to somebody and go see? like yeah, yeah. I see yeah uh, but then like it, it shoots to color where they're like talking and they're like they're like normal like, like, like what is sir what's on? what's happening here whatever and they're like oh god zombies no shit yeah so they uh interesting it was like the whole like the one the one dude thought like it was like a government experiment to make super soldiers whatever um it turned out just made fucking zombies um where where did we view this it was on netflix Netflix? yeah it was one of those random it was seriously like 2011 that we watched this movie i want to say it might be on amazon prime now it may be yeah fuck this movie was good Hmm. um and it also had the yeah, uh, it also had the 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 fat mustache guy that was in Hatchet. He was in Halloween two, this Rob Zombie one. The whole like I'm a police officer, oh, I'll help you. Yeah. The Michael Myers kill. I forgot that guy's name. Richard He's Real. In, yeah, Richard yeah, Real. Yeah, yeah. Like he he. I mean, like he gives money to all these. Like he he works on like supernatural and shit like that. Really? Um, he was in uh Office Space. Yeah. Is he got the guy in the car? That got hit by the yeah. car. <laughs> the, the, the um the game. The uh, what, what was the name of the game? Jump to conclusion. Triple H. What the game? Oh, uh, it's wrestling. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's name? Matthew Davis was in this. I forgot about that. Really? It, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's uh, he's in it. Uh, he's one of the the military guys towards the end. He's trying. He's the one trying to like wrangle it all in. Um. But it's just so cool because it's it's the zombies point of view. They're talking to each other. Everything's normal. But like having conversations the way we're having conversations and they don't realize yeah, that they're just going. In, yeah, it turns into like this whole thing. Just seeing it's it. To a both cool ways. It was it I was like actually that. really good. Is like there a sex scene like that? Yeah, I believe it's like, so. It's like real like the music's playing. Yep. It's kind of hot, whatever. But yep. then <laughs> other people are watching, and it's just it's like, just like, ah, 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 yeah. like bump, was... bumping <laughs> flesh into each other. Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh. I again, more homework for you. Yes. Highly recommend yes. finding this one. Is that three? That's three. That's three that Eugene hasn't seen. That's right. But those are these are uh, you guys are talking about like mostly like updated. Yeah. Movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is like what 2012. Yeah, so 2007. Yeah. 2007. 2007. Yeah. I graduated high school that year. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was a full grown middle aged man by that time. <laughs> by that. You were 14, Pat? You were 14 Holy in 2007. Mole. Oh, man. I feel so old. That's I'm so older than you. Weird. No shit. That. Pat, you're just a baby? Pat is the baby of the group. 30? Well, I don't yeah. I yeah, just, I thought you were like 31, 32. Don't take offense to that. You just hold yourself. I, I, I can't believe you're fucking that. 25 years old. That's uh I think it's because of the way fuck. you drink. I thought you were yeah. older. You drink <laughs> she's called you grizzled. Yeah, you do. You drink like I know. <laughs> she called you Nicolas Cage and leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> like you can tell the difference between like people who drink like in their twenties and people who drink in their thirties. Pat. Pat drinks like a guy who drinks in his thirties. You're right. You're right. I know. He's got the stash that, bottles everywhere. That's how I age. He's him. got a flask. Yeah, okay. Pat, I get it. You drink like a recently divorced guy who has to give almost half his check to his ex-wife Karen. Oh shit. Damn. That's <laughs> wow. Fucking... That bitch Karen. That All that you Karen. gotta pay alimony, so you just drink. <laughs> Drinks vodka out of a coffee mug yeah. in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah. What is that water? <laughs> it just sorry for like I was gonna calling say... you out on being like this. <laughs> I know. We just extended the episode by you know calling Pat an alcoholic, I know, Pat, Pat a middle aged alcoholic. Longer and now yeah, we're so like now Pat, middle aged alcoholic divorcee. Pat, get in here, man! Intervention time! Intervention! That, that's why Micah hugged you when he walked in. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, you're killing yourself. You're wasting away. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, oh sorry, Pat. 
Uh, yeah, you are. You are. We are. Hey, man, we're not no judging. Judge. We're not judging. Yeah. No judging. I'm just yeah. saying you asked what, how old I thought you were, and it's not because of the way you look. Yes. Well, I didn't want to be like, why are you yeah, so you look like you're 33. So he didn't ask why. He just asked how old he looked. That's I awesome. Thought, yeah, but like, I um, thought you were 33. And then he'd be like, well, I look 33. And I'd be like, no, it's because you're a fucking drinker. <laughs> Pat, we're not like. <laughs> <laughs> you drink. You drink like my dad. <laughs> I learned it from watching you. <laughs> <laughs> my dad doesn't drink i was i know he does not know uh so uh, well, zombies. Uh, zombies yeah yeah, yeah pat now we're not we're not that saying you have a problem pat. we're just we're not we're not saying you have a problem pat we're just concerned about your alcoholism pat i love you and i'm sorry <laughs> All right, so with that said, yeah, we it looks go. like we are done with this episode because we don't have any more to no, talk about in terms productive. of horror comedies. <laughs> so it looks like I'm closing this off. Yeah. If you guys have any sort of grievances, if you guys want to let us know something, praise, if you want to talk to us, if you want to give us suggestions on what to talk about, you can reach us at territrio at gmail.com. Also, well, we're supposed to point at Drew. And Am no, I? it's TerritorialPodcast at gmail.com. Yeah, is it TerritorialPodcast no, at gmail.com? Yeah. Is that why you guys never reply always, to my emails? That's fucked up. <laughs> always point to Drew. <laughs> always point to Drew. We you point to, I thought I was closing me. this out, but you, you know what? You can reach us at TerritorialPodcast at gmail.com. We are TerritorialPodcast on Instagram. TerritorialCast on Twitter, Territorio on Facebook, we're on Spotify, Google Play, YouTube, everything, iTunes. iTunes. Uh, if you could, you know, rate us, give us a review, that'd be great, too. Yeah, like, one. subscribe, all that shit. Yeah, that'd be lovely. I yeah, we want to know you guys family. are out there. Yeah. Because we know there's some of you out there that listen to us and don't interact with us at all. Uh, 1,000 five-star reviews, and uh, Pat will quit drinking. <laughs> 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 Give us a positive review and Pat will go dry. <laughs> Pat will, I, whoa. <laughs> Pat will go dry? That sounds painful. Well, Pat, you better damn bite down on that pillow. All right, and on Hard. that note, I'm Drew. I'm Eugene. And I'm Micah. And, and we're the we We're not doing that. I quit. Definitely not doing that. <laughs>